Welcome back to the Sunday Skirmish. Welcome Polygoners. If you're not a Polygoner yet, what are you waiting for? Hit that follow button, check out the YouTube channel, hit up the Twitter, whatever you need to do to get involved, make it happen. We are gonna be hopping into game number five here in this best of seven series. It has been an exciting series so far. Players are currently tied up. So without further ado, we're gonna throw it over to our casters, Shaft and Kid Not, take it away. Welcome back, guys. We are going to be going into game number five. It is a tie series right now. Everyone's been predicting this was going to be a best of seven from Twitter to Reddit to basically our, our pregame predictions uh, as well. If you go to a Ligulac, it's basically saying game seven most likely. So basically what I'm trying to say is go to your Reddit, go to your Twitter, go to uh, all your social media and tell your friends that there's still quite a bit left of this series. It is only game number five. There are three games left and we are going to be casting all of them for you. Hopefully there'll be three games left. It could be at least two because either one of these guys have to win two more games to win the series. So there's at least two more games, probably three more games. Guys, what the hell are you waiting for? Go tell your friends. Twitch.tv slash Polygon SC2. We're awesome. Subscribe. Yeah, we're going to be out of Bissell Reef. Uh, this is Kid Not with you again. So far, we're tied up two to two, and it's turned out to be a really exciting series. Uh, we've had all kinds of play. We've had Nidus's, we've had Bio, and so far, it's been a great series. Yeah, man, it's been phenomenal. And, well, this is a map where everyone's underwater, everyone's drowning. Units float up when they die instead of, you know, falling to the ground. And yet, it it's almost like an aquarium world like one of those snow globe worlds the the laws of physics still still don't still don't work right anyways we're going to be hopping right into this game it's abyssal reef as we've you know mentioned quite a few times and here on the bottom on the right hand side of abyssal reef he is our green terran buddy playing for rival gaming he's kozan and in the upper left hand corner Bringing it back to a 2-2 series with a Nidus Worm that caught uh, Kozan off guard. It is Psy Storm's Penguin. <laughs> yes, indeed, man. So this game, definitely turning out to be a little bit sanded. Patch first, gas pull, metabolic boost. And he's continuing to keep two workers on that gas uh, after starting metabolic boost. So delaying the third base a little bit for some tech or tech options here. Uh, what, what technology? Um, do you think he's going to be favoring Nautilus? Well, he's he's definitely going to be doing something other than a quick mm -hmm. third base. So it's probably going to be Mutilus or Roaches. I wouldn't be surprised with Mutilus because of the choke points on this map. Mm -hmm. uh, unless he wants to go that Nidus again. He could definitely do that in the main base. There's a little bit of a dark area there on the bottom mm -hmm. right hand side. Yeah, up like to the northern section of mm -hmm. that base. Yeah, exactly. All right. Um, game. Games do take a while, you know, to get get initially started. That's why we don't typically jump into them until like a minute and a half, two minutes. Um, at this point, this is a macro game um, in the initial stages. There's not that much to talk about. Um, so why don't we talk about something else entirely? Um, in, in the chat, guys, let us know which of these players, like, not only do you think is going to come out as King of the Hill, but who do you want to see them play against? next week remember this is a king of the hill event so these guys stay on week after week whoever the winner happens to be and uh we find new opponents for them to face so who do you want these guys to be facing off against next week well we still have one that's predicting the seven games so i think that uh after the two two that was uh brought together after the last game i wouldn't mm -hmm. be surprised to see this go to a seven games yeah yeah, that's what we were uh, saying a little bit earlier, um, but <laughs> uh, okay. So Reaper is on the field. He's 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 taking the map. Um, he hasn't been able to deny the third. Third has gone down. So even though it's delayed, it is at least down. We've got Lings coming out on the field. We've got a Baneling Nest coming out on the field as well, and that's a Baneling Nest for the lake. So, what is that indicating, you kid? Well, I think he's hoping to, he's swinging some lings around to the left-hand side mm -hmm. of the map, and I think he's just going to put a little bit of aggression on. He, you know, he may go right into a bangly bus, but uh, the third base that he's taking on, that Penguin's taking on this map is a little bit interesting. I know he wanted to take that uh, 
the western base, but that third base can also be very interesting. Sometimes it's a little easier to hold. Yeah, it's it, it can definitely be easier to hold, especially if you have good creep spread, because with just like two evolution chambers, you can block off that middle path to the left, and now Hellion Rumbies and shenanigans like that nowhere near as threat. That's correct, but here comes that banding boss type. Here. He's got 16 bandings getting mm -hmm. ready to come in to the natural mm -hmm. of Kozen, and he's got Lings right behind it. Uh, yes, indeed, Nick Lings going to be swinging in right behind it. He's still got a lot of bandings left to swing into the main and bust down this default wall as well. Now, once these bandings get used uh, and, and, you know, kited out with these, uh, with these Marines, it's going to be hard for him to break down any walls, but there's enough links here to start wiping out the SCVs. While this has happened, the third base has been completely obliterated by Kozan. So SCVs being traded for buildings, and now there's a few Banelings links defending this. So Kozan's going to have to go home. Meanwhile, Penguin's got complete rain all over this mineral line. And right now, Penguin's about 16 workers ahead. Yeah, he's got the, the worker lead. Um, Kozan is bringing his army home. So if, uh, boy, that worker lead is down to 19 now mm -hmm. to 36 for Penguin, even though he's only on two bases. But uh, we could be in for another odd, uh, odd game this, this time. Well, Penguin's playing. I think we knew that when we, uh, when we <laughs> slated him. <them. laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. Nice, uh, nice stem pack usage here. A, a medevac's going to allow them to have enough health to go ahead and clean this attack up. And at this point, Penguin's um, going to be continuing his attack, but he does have the layer coming. He has the evolution chamber. He's got plus one attack. So even if this attack doesn't kill his opponent, he is ready with the next stage of his development. And that's what I like about Penguin. You know, when you see someone all in, normally, like, if the all in fails, they're just done. They don't have, like, a backup plan. Penguin's always got a next stage to his attack, and that kind of inspires the cheeser and me to 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 be better. Yeah, he's he looks like he's going to go back into that spire. He has retaken his third base, mm -hmm. um, but uh, looks like we're catching up a little bit on the worker count. Mm -hmm. We have the mules, and we have twenty-two SCVs for Kozan, and we're up to thirty-nine drones. But uh, again, as I mentioned, this could out, could turn out to be an interesting game. Yeah, dude, it's already turned out to be an interesting game. It could get even more interesting, though. Um, at this point, he has taken that third base that he didn't take before. Um, but, uh, oh, 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 deliciousness. We're going to have carpet bombs. Carpet. Yes, we're going to, it looks like uh, Penguin's going to try and do a, a bangling drop into the main base of Kozan. Mm -hmm. Is there even enough SCVs? To rock? <laughs> yeah, he's got he's got most of them at his natural base. So. Yeah, but if he takes oh. those out, um, I don't know. Again, good oh. thing. But there goes a mule. <laughs> yeah. Um, we'll see. Uh, like Penguin's really good at scouting. Right before he he does like drops and stuff, which a lot of people will just drop and like pray their opponents aren't there. Penguin does do the scouting, so we'll see. Uh, like that baneling like. Overlord is just loaded up, chilling there. It's not even like feeling pressure right now to to go do anything. Um, and in fact, oh my god, oh my god, there's another bit. There's, yeah, there's a bit on the Overlord. bottom. Yeah. Yes. Oh my god. So we there have are... two drop alerts, and then we have mutas and links coming up the middle. It looks like he's gonna hit on all three fronts. Yeah, that's exactly what he's about to. Do. So that Baneling, uh, the the one in the natural is going to be the big one. He's, and, he's dropping them now. He's Oh, he's taking out almost all of the SCVs, at least half of those. Now he's into the main base. Mm -hmm. And it looks like uh, there's only about six or seven left in the main. Dude, this income graph is just all purple at this stage of the game, man. Like, from the last five minutes on. Yeah, Penguins killed 41 workers in this game already. Yeah. And he's got pretty much twice the uh, army supplies as opponent as well. Yeah, we're at 72 to 48 on the army supply uh -huh. and 56 to 23 on the worker supply. Yeah. So, at this point, um, I'm just trying to think of what Kozen could do to get back into this. I think he's just got to attack, and unfortunately, Penguin just engaged 
before the tanks were sieged. So he just lost the majority of that army and is going to be forced to tap out. That yeah, is. Yeah, I don't think he, I don't think he really had a choice but to try and do an all in there with his um, yeah. income disadvantage. <laughs> yeah, dude, he had to, but that attack would have gone so much better, Heather's. Absolutely. All right. So turning back over to the Twitch chat, looks like we have a Penguin supporter, Denotary, wants a Penguin to win. What, uh, what support do you think it's going to be, Dan? Anyways, while he is responding, we do have a little bit of delay, so the back and forth is, uh, is sporadic. We are going to uh, be hosting up the next game, finding out who these guys, or what map these guys want to play on. Kozan needs a moment, so what we're going to do is we're going to throw it to Andy. He's going to entertain you with his awesomeness. We'll let you guys check out a really cool thing from our sponsors. And depending on how much time the players need, we may go to a quick be right back screen. Anyways, Andy, floor is yours. Thank you, Shaft, and thank you, Kid Not, for that. Again, excellent commentation throughout all these games today. Hopefully, you're all enjoying the show, enjoying these matches. I certainly am, so be sure to tune in every single Sunday. Watch even more with us. Hit that follow button. Simple as that. You'll get notified when we go live every single Sunday. Uh, the time does seem to vary within an hour or so, but Sunday early afternoon seems to be the deal for the show match. Hopefully you're all feeling good in the chat. Yeah, thanks for coming and hanging out. Damnatory, good to have you. Shawshank, I've seen you in a few uh, StarCraft streams before, over in the Gauntlet stream or something. Uh, nice to have you in here with us. Uh, so yeah, nice to see some friendly faces and some new faces. Hopefully we will continue to grow and get even more viewership in here every single Sunday. So yeah, let's go over to a quick break real fast. Uh, and then we'll be back with game number six. If you want to be notified when we release videos like this, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you don't know where that is, I'm not going to teach you how to use the internet. There's probably no hope for you.